Hi, part two of the video. My name's Martin from dwpcorruption.co.uk, uh, the independent watchdog for the Department for Works and Pensions. And we've been stopping people on the street today and just talking about the general corruption in government and this uh, this definite now of common purpose that people are becoming aware of. There's a couple of other guys here who are homeless who we've been speaking yes, to today and yeah. live in, in absolutely appalling Spoiler. conditions and squalor and can't even afford a sandwich on the street. You know, Gordon Brown, don't you think it's about time you as a man and started looking after the right people? We go on about the Iraqi war, we go on about the other atrocities throughout life, but the Labour government are doing jack shit for this country. Right. Common purpose has taken over. You are a Freemason and it has to stop here. You've got to stop covering your back and look after the people. We've got corrupt solicitors around us who are part of the infiltration within the system who are now leading beyond authority. People with com compensation cases, psychiatric problems, every walk of life including social services is being dealt with on a common purpose basis. You are responsible. You've got a responsibility to this fucking country and it has to stop. You have got to start to pull your finger out and look after the people that count. That's right. And that's why it's called government. So that's been through all the medieval ages, all that stuff. You have to have government. But when they're poking you in the eye and shitting on you, why shouldn't the common man go, well, fuck you, you only worth a vote. Other people say, if you don't vote, then don't cry, don't cry in your milk because you never voted. You and know, that's why I said, I will not vote for professional lawyers. You know, guys, you're two intelligent guys here. And all I can see, you know, with the conversation that we're having, yes. you're worthier more than what the UK can offer you. You know, maybe that's why so many people got abroad. off abroad. It's because of the way the country's being led. Prove my mate's gone to Australia. It took them three years to get into Australia. I went and lived in LA for nearly seven months. And uh, never mind the American dream and stuff. It was beautiful there. It was beautiful and the people were cared about. And the only ones that they didn't care about, I'm probably hanging this one on a bit, was the Vietnam War veterans. Yeah, the Gulf War veterans were looked out for. Yeah. You know, you see them pushing themselves along because they've got no legs left off that and the same kind of things happening here if I want to get on my podium we shouldn't even be in Afghanistan there's your country you sort it out exactly. sort it out so if, what, if, what? We're, if we're finding the Taliban right and blowing them to pieces we in the mountains their country and then coming out of here and well, if, here. if we can do it why can't they do it to their own country well that's right and that, that's what uh, that's what an later. interesting subject is isn't it yes you know the people are being ignored at grassroots. The people that count aren't being listened to. No, they're not. And this is this is what we're doing today, where common purpose is concerned. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad that you've known about it and understood it in a yeah. different light. Yeah. But what what happens here is is that the common purpose infiltration is going through government social services. It goes through your councils, your MPs, That's right. even the police. Yeah. The judicial system is crawling with common purpose, and therefore it's corrupt yeah. because they make corrupt decisions and they're not the people like you and like I who are trying to put, put a corrupt country right and you only put it right by speaking out yeah, but they you also have a lack of communication right and I will say this to you now right it's the first time in my life that I've ever had to sign on to the social security right for a back injury and after about nine weeks of them not paying me one pence and I slept the streets in Kingsheath and that, up the back of Sainsbury's and that. And after nine weeks, I did actually get a, a they call them key workers. Uh, she phoned them up and said, look, he's, apparently he's got a daughter called Dubna, right? And I said, I've got a son. I'm not going to mention names because of that. But I have got a son who's 19. Um, I haven't got a daughter, but if you tell me when her birthday is, I'll send her. I'll send her a birthday card, and that is computer to computer and person to person. I haven't got a daughter called Dubna. I even said to him, can you please spell that name to me? D H O B N A. 
says, OK, just can you read me back my national insurance number that I've just quoted you on the phone? Read it back to me. I said, I've got a son, I haven't got a daughter, so you sort that out. And, I'll put the and what's, what's fascinating here is yes. that this corruption to steal identities and to claim benefits it, and yeah. to know that your identities are being stolen, you know, that, that, that in itself is a threat. Yeah. You know, because there's somebody walking about with your details, taking loans out in your name, mm. and, you know, what, what do these people do about it? What they don't realise is the crim criminals are on the inside. They yeah. work for the DWP and Job Centre Plus. They're in there already. These are the people that are stealing gyros. It's called inter corruption. That's right, internal inter corruption. corruption. If you look at this new benefit that's come out, ESA, Employment Support Allowance, and how difficult they're making it for guys to get on Job Seekers Allowance. We know the Job Seekers Allowances are gone. There's no jobs for anybody. But the government profess that there is, and they tell lies and they deceive you to get you into a little office to be able to manipulate you. And this is what it's all about. But it all comes back again to common purpose. Julia Middleton, she she invented common purpose back in the early 80s. Right. She was John Prescott's secretary. Need I say any more? So the corruption comes from within the Labour government. It's been spread out over a period of time and got everybody involved, as I say, the La police and the judicial yeah. system. Labour used to mean a different thing to me when I was a, when I was a youngster. And my dad, even though he's not my real dad, but he is my dad in my eyes, right? And he said, Labour, therefore, therefore the common people. Yeah. And I said, but Dad, I don't want to be called the common people. We, we, we are the majority, we're not the minority. But these people in all these offices and all this stuff and in parliaments and all that, and police and that, seem to begrudge you your life. That's right. When you work... You, to, to, to earn a living, but and then my life's been took away but from what, me. But what's interesting there yeah. is the fact Sleep that if people, well, order, if people knew what the New World Order, if people knew what the New World Order was about, this is for you guys, for your families, to be slaves without the shackles. They want you kept with no money. They want you to be down there so that they've got overall say and can make decisions for you. They don't want you to have a brain and open your mouth. They want you to be down there like in the gutter, mate. Like robots, that's right. Robots downtrodden. And and this is this is the, the new world order for you. We are the bug. Yes. This is what you it's about. You will be assimilated. And yeah. you know, Resistance is your dialogue. It will it will only it will only get worse, unfortunately. Yeah, it will do. And you know, it's going to get to the stage that where I think there'll be civil war. Oh, no, there'll be civil war without I'm a shadow of a doubt. Not but I think that, that there will be another civil rising. Brixton riots, Bristol riots, Liverpool, Birmingham, a lot. Eventually, people are going to start saying, "We have fucking had enough." That's right. Enough. That is enough. It's not racist. It's fact. Well, you've got to ask the question, haven't you? Who do you think has put Gordon Brown in power for the last ten years? You know, he, well, it was what, certainly wasn't me. Done? And what has he done? Sorry, nothing. Like, so, uh, he's done nothing. No worries, right? No worries. Pardon? I just got distracted then by oh, that. Sorry. sorry. No worries. We're, we're just having the continued conversation about about common purpose and, and, and how it's affected the likes of you guys on the streets and the fact that you can't get jobs, you're living on concrete floors, yeah. you've got no prospects for the future. You, you can't go to the DWP because they alter all the figures. There's no jobs. Job seekers allowance is a complete con, isn't it? And you know that there's no jobs. But you're keeping one of the fat cats in a job and a nice lifestyle just to keep them in a job. Yeah. Of course it is. But yeah, these people... You can't get a job, you can't get dull. So oh, well, if I can't get a job, I can't get dull. Well, so and then what do they do? Yeah, they want they want a corrupt officer to throw yeah. you out of Job Centre Plus yeah. to, to say, to to say that you... Lock him, you know, because he's going to cost the, the government well, more money. Lock, people like yourself, taxpayers, money. loads a lot of, of money to lock us up in jail. You yeah. ain't got a cat in hell's it's chance, have you? It's all a con. At the end of the day, it's one big con. But listen, lads, I'm, I'm gonna to I'm gonna finish off by Hi, by really honestly wishing you the best of luck. Thank you. And much. you know, just got got a tie talk, on. I don't mean I'm I'm better you're than you. I'm one of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, you know. We're all the same. You, you have my hands. Good lads. And that's my heart.